They're afraid of what we have to say. They're afraid of the truth because the truth is that politicians have too much power and the power belongs to the people and it is time that we take it back. How long are we gonna to continue to do what they tell us to do when all the science, all the legality, all the common sense contradicts it? I don't know about you, but I've gotten to the point that I actually feel uncomfortable going into a store where everyone's masked and I'm not masked. And I won't, I refuse to. But it's uncomfortable because the societal pressure handed down to us by our politicians, by academia, by people in positions of power and influence is so harsh that you're shamed for having a face. You're shamed for having a face. My eight month old baby, when she travels with me, she pulls down my mask on the airplane. And you know what I said, flying in here, she kept doing it, it's a game for her, you know, eight month old. She kept doing it and I said loudly in the airplane, I said, maybe we should nominate her for head of the CDC. And yes, I'd like to think that that was witty, but that's actually not the point of the story. The point of the story is that everybody within two or three rows around me agreed. People agree. What they're looking for is they're looking for leaders. They're looking for someone to say, wait a second, this violates common sense. This violates politics. This violates the law. We don't have to do what the politicians and the bureaucrats say. They're looking for you and I to step up and refuse to do an event on the campus of the University of Wisconsin-Madison if they tell us that we have to muzzle our faces. They're afraid of what we have to say. They're afraid of the truth because the truth is that politicians have too much power and the power belongs to the people and it is time that we take it back.